I watched from my hiding place as she lovingly touched each photo, praying for the family member. If I had my life to live over, I would count stars, go to more zoos and parades, appreciate family. Hmm. Hi friends, John Willard here. A special show today about Grandma Nellie the Saint. And please remember the subscribe button down below for CNA TV. I want to confess my prejudice right up front by declaring unequivocally that my grandma Nellie was the sweetest lady who ever lived. I didn't realize it until she had passed away. Memories of Nellie crowded into my mind. Nellie in the kitchen, her ample form covered by a checked apron, the smell of no-baked cookies, the twinkle in her eyes. Nellie's rose garden. Who would tend her roses? They were used to Nellie's sweet voice and caressing touch as she coaxed them into bloom. Hmm. What I remember most is the summer I was 10. I awoke at two o'clock in the morning and heard a voice softly speaking. A dim light filtered into my room. I silently tiptoed through the darkness and peeped around the corner into Nellie's bedroom. She was sitting in the middle of her bed with photographs scattered out in front of her. I watched from my hiding place as she lovingly touched each photo, praying for the family member. If I had my life to live over, I would count stars, go to more zoos and parades, appreciate family. Hmm. I would accept imperfections and laugh often, and I would go to their favorite restaurant. Oh, how I would protect them and build memories. Mm. I would tell friends and family, I am proud of them. Friends, when I think these thoughts, I think of my grandmother Nellie and having tea with her. She lived in a rented tar paper shack, but it was so clean. As the saying goes, you could eat off the floor, and it was. So I'll share this poem, Tea at Grandmother's. When I was young, I'd visit folks who lived on neighboring streets. But Grandma always asked me in for tea and pastry treats. She made me feel special with a table set just so. While she would talk of baking and how long to raise the dough Politely, I would listen, although thoughts would often stray. Each time I left, I gave my word I'd come another day. Before I went to high school, 
She asked that I stop by. She opened up her old worn book while trying not to cry. Then as she paged through many years in pen, I saw my name. For she had written in that book the days and times I came. You won't learn this in textbooks, she softly said to me. How you can lift another soul with just a cup of tea. Mm. Nellie's no-baked cookies and hot tea. Friends, after all these years, I still remember. You won't learn this in textbooks, she softly said to me. How you can lift another soul with just a cup of tea. Mm. Richer than I, you can never be. I had a grandmother who read to me. Friends, it's time to feed the pups, Cora Mae and Bubba. So I'll let you go. As always, you can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47. Until next time, friends, this is John Willard from the farm. <laughs>